Hello and welcome to one of the first in a series of videos talking about how to create an online portfolio using the Minnesota eFolio website as a tool to start you down the road. Uh, in order to sign up for an eFolio website, you would simply go to the web address http colon backslash backslash www.efoliominnesota.com. Once you've gotten to this page, you just simply go down here to the sign up button, click on that and start filling in the information uh, in order to start your website. You'll fill in some information like your name, what you'll be using it for, and your email address, and you'll end up getting an email from the eFolio site telling you your new online web address, uh, as well as instructions for how to access the administrative side of things. This video is going to take a look just briefly a brief tour around the administrative side of your eFolio website. Right now you can see my eFolio websites. This is the address that I would give to anybody that I'd like to access my eFolio website. But to get to the administrative part of it, I just can just type in owner at the end of this, hit enter, and it brings me to the login. I log in using the information that I got from the eFolio email that I got and I'm brought directly into uh, the administrative site for my eFolio. Right away you'll notice it's kind of broken up into four areas. Across the top we have some tabs. Over on the left side we have four tabs as well. That's how you add your content and access your content. In the center this is kind of your workspace for where you actually work on creating your web pages. And over on the right is where you start to build your web pages as far as just setting up the layout and the framework and kind of the skeleton of your website. Taking a closer look at some of these areas, right now we're on the build tab, so the screen looks like this. The mail tab is used mostly for educational institutions that want to have some feedback as far as you would put some content up, uh, your professors would uh, provide feedback on that content. It's a real interactive way to do things. Designs is where you can create some big effects, some big changes to your website. Right now I've chosen to use the St. Cloud State University template, but if you wanted to, you could quickly and easily navigate through the different design groups and choose a completely different design for your website. Once you've chosen a design, sometimes you have the option to choose different color schemes, and then you would go ahead and you would actually save your website. It would make those changes. I don't want to change mine for now, so we're going to move on to utilities. In the utilities tab, the key area I want to point out to you is the storage space tab over here on the left. If you click on that, it tells you how much space you've used, and how much space you have left. Last but not least up here, we have the Accounts tab. Uh, this is where you can define uh, your email address, information about you. This isn't information that necessarily shows up on the website. It's just used for the eFolio uh, folks to contact you if they have any questions about your website or think that you might need help. Going back to our Build menu, are three areas down here that we want to work in. The first area that we would probably want to work in is over here on the right. This is where you build the framework, you build the menus, and you build the actual pages. Each one of these areas represents a different page on my website. So if you look here, we've got resume, license and certifications, career map, administrative log, combined competencies. These are all nested underneath the home tab. And then nested underneath combined competencies, have leadership, program development, and so on. Anytime you want to look at your eFolio site, you can always click on Preview. And in a new tab, it'll bring you to your site. So you can see here are those pages that I was showing in the right. My home page, and nested underneath that we have resume, license and certifications, career map, and so on. If you remember, I had some things nested under combined competencies. In order to see that, I would need to click on Combine Competencies, and here are the menu items down there 
from that menu in my administrative area. Each one of these represents a different page of my site. Let's jump back to the administrative side of things. Now the area on the right here is where you add your new contents and where you access your old content. If you want to add new contents, you click on new contents and you can add in artifact, goals, contacts, credentials. Each one of these is kind of a template to help you set up a page. So depending on what type of page you're trying to set up, you would go in and start one of these different areas. You can always click on more for more options. And also if you have files that you want to upload, you would do that here at a new content. I'll go into more depth on that in future videos. The to-do list is automatically created when you sign up for your eFolio site. And it's meant to be kind of a step-by-step -step process to help you get started with creating your eFolio site. I didn't use the to-do list when I created my eFolio site, but if you find this helpful, you can just go through the steps and you actually click on the step. And if I wanted to add details about my current work or my occupation, then I would click on the complete button and that would start me down that process. My content has all of my content that I've uploaded or created through the eFolio site, all in bits and pieces. eFolio is a real parts to whole sort of model. You create all the little parts and then you drag them over here into the center to help build your page. So you can see if I click on this arrow here, this will drop down and you'll be able to see the 50 artifacts that I've created and uploaded into eFolio. As I scroll down, here are all the files that I've uploaded. I have 65 of those. And you can scroll down and see all those as well. The center area is where you actually take these parts and drop them into in order to create your page. You want to make sure that you're working on the right page and you can tell that up here. I'm working on home. If I wanted to work on my resume page, I would go over and click on resume and click on build. Now you can see I'm working on my resume page. Alternatively, I could also simply double click on these and that jumps me right into those pages as well. But just so you can see briefly how you can build this area, if I'm working on my home page, let's go take a look at that. So right now you can just see I have my welcome information. If I wanted to add different information on there, I go back to my administrative page and I go and grab some of my content and drag it and drop it on there. For instance, if I wanted it to put information about the prevention and intervention team that I worked with, I can grab that and I can drag it either to the left side, the right side, or the center. Let's drag and drop it in the center because that's where we're doing most of our work. Now if I click on preview, you'll see there's my welcome. In addition, there's my information about prevention and intervention team. In order to get rid of that, I can just hover over it and now I get this option to delete it from this page. It doesn't actually delete it out of my eFolio site. You can still see it's still there. It just deletes it from that page. So that was a very brief tour. Um, next videos, we'll take a more in-depth look at the right side here where you build your pages, the left side here where you add your content, and the center where you combine your pages and your content in order to actually build your eFolio site. Thank you very much. I hope this was helpful and take care.